Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim! I'm Kamchak Fisco. Come and join me for an epic adventure! Took a second for my brain to process that, especially considering it auto-saved right when that happened, so it, it, it wasn't moving anyway. Severed family safe, activate bookshelf. Oh, okay, I get it. Put stuff on the book. Put the books on the shelves. So what is the deal with this place? And why is it playing creepy music if this is supposed to be our residence? I would assume it's our residence because of the fact that uh, all this shit's in here and nobody owns it. That would lend the most credence. You know what? I haven't cooked it forever. Let's do that. No one else is using... I want to know what's causing that bug. I really do, because that one bugs me to no end. Okie dokie, so that one's done. Captain Belleth. With the Ashborn threat taken care oh. of, I can give my men the rest they deserve. We haven't found the building well done, friend. yet. Find me that stash of wine. Working on it. it to be rid of it. Okay, so since we're back here and I need to go back into the mine anyway, let's go check out the mine. See where that door in the waterfall went. Which part of the tomb it went to, because it had to have been a different part, a part that was cut off or something. Because it was different. Crassus Curio, isn't that you? Wherever the hell you went? Whoops. There we go. Wee! We go further down. There's a dead spider. Oh yeah, we did go further down. Never mind. That's where it led. What? Board just went flying. Good grief! So did the pot. Okay, she's just flying everywhere now. Just, sure, why not? Seems normal. Alright, where's that damn waterfall? Hello, waterfalls, where are you? There it is. Aha! All right, what part of the Blood Skull Barrow does this go to? Just a little tomb, and that's it. That's just, just there's nothing more to this. Well, that's underwhelming. I was expecting more. All right, so we did this. We went up here, we opened that that led over to there. Wasn't there another place I didn't go that I could have? I thought there was. Guess not. Alright, well, that's done. Let's get the hell out of here. Alright, well, I guess we've done everything we can do here. Thought I saw a note on the table. Yes, I didn't. Alright, so we're done with the mines. We've searched everything there. we still got to figure out that those two tombs we couldn't get into. I th thought we got into one through an alternate entrance and then opened the gate, but I might be thinking about somewhere that's actually back on the mainland part of the main game. So I could very much be wrong about that. I, I will say, some games you can play on stream without any problem whatsoever. Interacting with the chat is not a detract from the gameplay at all. Other games, like really, really immersive games, or games where you really have to pay attention, that can be very detracting from the experience. And it's it's kind of the price of streaming. But, I mean, it is what it is. Because um, certain horror games, certain games I'm going to be playing are still going to be Let's Plays. They're still going to be on this channel and this channel alone. They're not going to be on Twitch. But a majority of the stuff I play will be. So I just have to find the balance between what is and is not best played where the bulwark, the bulwark jail 
a town or a, an abandoned house in the outskirts of town. Uh, unless there was a hidden entrance in that one abandoned house. That means there was only the one abandoned house. That can't be right. This is the only abandoned house on the edge of town. Oh wait, no, that's the Severin Manor. Wait, where's the abandoned house? Uh, was it the one that was along the other wall? It had to have been. This is this is out of town at this point. So it's got to be here. This is the only abandoned building. Because there, I didn't see one on the other side. I guess let's grab it all. Maybe it's considered evidence or some shit? I don't know. Alright, people, what's your story? Look at me. Oh, that's I'm a her. different person. Because and of I you, my... Nope, they're life. both homeless. Oh, okay, so I can either talk Thank her you. out of it or let it stand. So they live here. There was nothing here. There's got to be another abandoned building. We just got to find it. Yeah, there's, there's nothing here. So it's... Is it that building and I just missed... There's like a lever or some shit somewhere? Alright, so... Does this put new shit on the map? Maybe? Not seeing anything new. I have no idea where the hell Tulsa is. I, I just don't know where she is. Alright. There has to be another abandoned building somewhere. That's kind of sweet that it gives you the key. That way you don't have to... Take it again. What the fuck? Lover's letter. What? What's going on? What was that all about? There's a bunch of stuff I was able to legitimately pick up in here. Why? What happened? The blacksmith dropped dead or some shit? Requires key. Okay, I think we need to do some reading here, because I just got like a bunch of stuff. We'll start at the top, work our way down alphabetically. Adriel survey results. Counselor Morvane, below the results of the survey you requested. Bulwark needs extensive repair. Ash is beginning to see through the cracks inside the barracks and weakening the structure. Repairs to the docks have been completed. Can now accommodate two ships at once if need be. We've lost a total of 26 veteran guards in the last two years. We've seen 10 replacements in the last five. Good grief. There have been no improvements in the condition of the water on the island. While there are still fish, while the, there, are, while there are fish still present, there are nowhere near enough to sustain us as a fishing town. As you can see, we're in desperate need of relief. Sorry to be the bearer of such bad news, but I'm only doing, but I'm only doing as you requested, Adril. Well, that's not good. I guess it's a good thing we uh, got them to be able to open up the mine again. Dearest Dinya, dearest Dinya, I know that your father doesn't approve of us, but I'm willing to do whatever it takes to make our relationship work. I think the time has come to speak to him in person and stop letting him hear about us through gossip and rumors. I love you, and I don't care if the entire world knows it. Please think about it, Moden. Well, good luck with that. First letter from the EEC. Thethis, after reviewing your rather lengthy letter, in which you've requested that which the East Empire Company purchases your business in Solstein, you must respectfully decline. The East Empire Company has been doing business in Tamriel for over five centuries. And in that time, we've had numerous business ventures. Some of those ventures have proven lucrative and some were highly unprofitable. The colony of Raven Rock belongs to the latter, I'm afraid, and therefore we'll see no financial advantage to re-establishing any sort of business venture on Solstein at this time. Vittoria Vici, 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 however you say that, East Empire Company Warehouse Sol Sol Solitude Skyrim. Wait, the East Empire Company, wasn't that part of the mod we downloaded where we had to go fight the dragon and there was that whole thing? Because that was like a, that was a mod story arc, right? Huh. Lover's Letter. My dearest daughter Sapphire, it's with a heavy heart that I write this letter. For years I've come, for years I've thought about how I could tell you this. Each time I've imagined it would be face to face. I'm ashamed for what I did and I hope that someday you'll learn to forgive me. Whatever you do, don't blame Delvin for any of this. He didn't know. Long after I joined the guild, I was sent to rob a caravan that was stopping in a tiny farming village not far from the border of Skyrim. 
When I arrived there, I was a day out. I was a day early and decided to sleep for the night in the barn of a pig farm. I awoke the next morning and the most beautiful woman I'd ever laid eyes upon walked in to do her chores. She wasn't even frightened when she saw me. In an instant, I think we had a... In an instant, I think we had both fallen in love. I ended up living with that woman in that tiny little village for a year until she was with child. And then, like a coward, I am. And then, like a coward, I ran away. I was a thief and I didn't want to end up a, a farmer. It was terrible... It was a terrible thing to do. I didn't have the courage to return to that village for almost 15 years. When I finally decided to visit, it was too late. It had been raided by bandits and burned to the ground. Everyone was either dead or gone, including you, my only child. Years later, you were... Years later, when you were recruited by the Brin... By Brynjolf. Brynjolf? I couldn't believe my eyes. You were a spitting image of your mother, and I knew it was you in an instant. Only the gods know how you survived the attack on that village, and why you followed in my footsteps. But I have to assume it was meant to be. I wanted to walk right up to you and embrace you, to tell you the truth, but I was still a coward. I decided to lead Riften instead of facing your anger. I said my goodbyes to Delvin and I headed for Solstein. As far as the truth as far from the truth as I could get. I'm sorry, my daughter. I'm sorry for having never been I'm sorry for having never been there to hold you at night or protect you from whatever hardship you endured. One day I hope you'll make the journey to Solstein and visit your father. Lover Mallory. What a dick. That's more than a coward, dude. That's Veteran's reply. Counselor Mulvane, while I appreciate the urgency of the situation on Solstheim, I'm afraid I can't prove the request for supplies or funds at this time. We know this changed because we helped them out. This is nothing personal, Lyrian. Lyril. Wrong word. Your island is one... Your island is one of 74 outlying settlements of Morrowind at this time. House Veteran must rank these outposts in terms of economic and strategic importance. We have limited coin in our coffers to send to these settlements, so we have to decide which ones take precedence. Unfortunately, Solstheim is very low on the list. I'm doing everything I can for you. All I ask is that you hang on a little longer. Drellis Roland, Council Member, House Frederick. Well, we solved that problem. Second letter from the EEC. Balthus. I felt this was rather clear in my last letter to the EEC. Doesn't wish to engage in any business or financial buyout of your business in Solstheim. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but the time isn't right. And there was a third letter we know. Here we go, third letter. Velvets, we've received yet another letter from you requesting a buyout. This time I'm going to insist you cease any communication with the East Empire Company. There will be no further letters from me, from me on this matter. I don't know why I gave it that voice, because we know it was a woman after we were the first one, but yeah, whatever. Consistency. To Melor from Nalara. Melor, I hope the day finds you well. Well, Athras and I have finally mustered the courage to return to Mournhold and pick up the pieces. We haven't been to the manor in almost fifty years, but things haven't changed much. The city feels a bit empty. Berenzia... Berenzia? Berenzia's palace is still completely unoccupied, and most of the Rittering Guard have been reassigned to the other parts of Morrowind. They've continued to make improvements on Mournhold Temple, removing the last vestiges of... Alma Ex Alexandria? Alma... Alma... Extria. Extria? I don't even know how to say that word. Mark and adding a new sanctuary. Plaza Brindisi... Plaza Brindisi Dorum has changed as well. House and Doral has erected a large building there to house all the new pilgrims and priests that seem to have flocked here to pay their respects to the temple. Athos has returned to work as a jewel crafter. And he's gaining quite a following. He's bringing in a good bit of coin. A little of which I've sent to you as usual. Things are going well, and at this rate, we'll have the manor restored to its former glory by winter. I know you're tired of hearing about it, but I implore you to reconsider my offer. We have plenty of room here, and both of us are all... And both of you are always welcome to join us. I know it's tough out there, but suffering in a horrible place just to prove a point isn't necessary anymore. Just a little sisterly advice. I was expecting it to be signed, but I guess not. Well, that's it. We've read all the new stuff, so... We found out about that, but I don't know where this key is, so I'm guessing the key is on the person upstairs. One of them, anyway. Oh, no, this is just the one resident. Nope, that's just the house key. We already have that. So that's not this. This is something else. Is it in the chest, maybe? Nope. Where would this key be? Uh, I don't know. 
maybe there's a quest related to it. I have no idea. All right, so there's only one house left to search. That startled the shit out of me. <laughs> Suddenly just this ungodly loud sniffing, like, what the fuck? Nobody sleeps like that in their sleep. What the hell's wrong with you people? So I guess every house has more of these East Empire things. These pendants. So I guess if we want to collect them all, we do have to steal them. What was I supposed to find in that house? What was I supposed to find in the abandoned house? Because there was only the one... We only saw the one. The one abandoned building. I didn't see anything. There was, like, no levers or anything to activate. I don't understand. Is there a hidden stash somewhere? See, I think it's actually got to be in the barracks. It's not in the abandoned building. Maybe it's in the barracks. Unless it's in that one manor that's our house. I doubt it would be in the jail. We've looked everywhere else. I, I think it's in the bulwark. I think it's here because they talked about the construction being done. So they could have... They, there's probably places they could have stashed it. Veteran guards everywhere. Post notice. I will take the note. I'm trying not to look like I'm going to steal anything, because I'm trying not to steal anything. That's the evidence lockup, so that's going to be related to crime, so I don't know if that's something that would have already happened, or something that will happen. Alright, so it's not here. Let's try checking the jail real quick. And if it's not there, we've literally checked every building, and I don't know what to do. I don't know where it would be. Unless it's literally not here on this town. Maybe it's elsewhere? Yeah, nothing to read. <laughs> this really makes it look like there's supposed to be somebody in there. I assume... Is that like it's supposed to be a fireplace? It's what it looks like. I just can't tell from here. Alright, well, it's not there. Unless there's a hidden area past the jail cell. I don't know. I legit don't know. So unless maybe something on the docks? I don't know. Well, this boat didn't have a lower deck or anything, not like the one we were on. Well, that dock went well. Now let's go back to the bar, because... We need to go convince him to let her back in, I guess. Just to get the quest over with. Welcome to the Wretching Nutch Corner Club. Have you seen... Oh, she used to be... As much as I love making corn, I can't watch her do that anymore. I won't. I suppose you're right. If she wants to spend her life at the bottom of an ale mug, it's her choice. I mean, it is. Tell her she's welcome back any time. Alright, so that one's done. Heard any rumors lately? The Redder and Guard have spotted a pack of werewolves in the mountains. The hunters up on Frostmoon Crag might know more. Don't know if that's a thing I've done or not. Safe travel, Looks like it's not. Amanda. I don't know. Working on those standing stone like a bad dream. I'm glad you woke us from it. So that would be one of the people who was brainwashed by the... Head over to the wretching edge if the ash has your throat parched. Nobody's out yet, so let me wait one hour. Crossing Crag, let's go ahead and throw that on the list. It looks like we're waiting. Looks like a lot of this is just wait. Let's make it, uh, eight. That's supposed to be when everybody's out, right? Is it eight or is it nine? Okay, so I talked to him. Look at me. I'm a... D well then, I suppose I'm off to do what I do best. Here, this was something I carried around in happier times. Maybe you can find a use for it. 
Did your dagger of subsuming. So see you in the mines. Yeah, we, we we allowed her to back into the bar, but it doesn't matter anymore because she has a job now. It's busier now that things are starting to look up. I guess I might stay a bit longer after all. You're making my buyer happy. Keep them coming. So I take care of like those. There's another quest over that away. Whoops, that's not the map key. I oh, know things are tough, but at least. Alright, so that would be the dungeon up here that I still can't figure out how to freaking get inside. Convince Nicholas to stay at Skull Village. Or Nicholas. Nicholas. <laughs> wow, I can't even read. <laughs> I'm doing great today! I'd like to try to jam hours of recording into the single session. Just woohoo! Alright, so where is this kid? I heard that you and Tharsten explored an ancient crypt. That sounds like an exciting adventure. Eh, your mother tells me you want to leave the village. That's right. I want to go out into the world and earn great glory. I want to hunt the deadliest creatures and claim vast riches. I'm wary of living in this village. I want to do something with my life other than farm, fish, and hunt deer. I know it must be hard for an adventurer such as you to understand this, but we Skull live very boring lives. I do understand. In fact, I'm willing to help you get started. The world is dangerous and you're not ready for it. Intimidate. You've abandoned your mother when she needs you most? Ah, uh, I'd rather... Because uh, if I scare him, then he may never go back to wanting to adventure because, you know, he'd be afraid of it from then on. Uh, abandon your mother the most. He's only going to stick around as long as he thinks she needs him and he'll still leave. Consider she wants him to stay, I'm gonna go with Intimidate. Well, I know there is some danger, of course, but I didn't think it would be that bad. If the risk is truly so great, I will train with Wolf Wild Blood and hone my skills. Perhaps in three or four winters I will truly be ready. That's not I can see that in my eagerness for adventure I have forgotten my duties as a son and as a skull. You have helped me to see wisdom, and I thank you for that, Skull friend. That had actually the opposite expectation. A terrible ache in my back today. I, I was expecting Complain that to go to the other way. Your pain go away, Oslof. If go Nicholas leaves me now, I will be truly alone. He's going to stay. May the Allmaker bless you with many sons and daughters outside. Once again, you have shown that you're a true friend of the Skull. I wish that I could give you a reward that is equal to the joy in my heart. But I don't have much to offer one who has so much already. Pretty much. Perhaps these will prove useful to you. These herbs are unique to the island, and their light cannot be found elsewhere. Parasol moss, scathe crow, and ashes and grass. Okay, thanks. Appreciate it. It's been a pleasure. At least it's unique. Alright, so... Papa, when can I go on my first hunt? Alright, so that's, uh, that should be it for all that stuff. I still don't know how to get into the tomb. I honestly might have to Google this just to figure it out. All right, so we're waiting for that one. So we just got a little early past time. This one, how to get through the damn barrow. I got to figure that out. Uh, I may have to also look at Verona because I've searched all over and I can't find her. As far as this goes, I don't know where the remaining pendants are. Uh, the hidden stash number walk. Yeah, it says it's in Raven Rock. And uh, the pendants is for him. It doesn't mean they're only in there. This is the Hunters of Frostmoon Crag. Where is Frostmoon Crag? I'm wondering if that's actually somewhere. Oh, ah, here we go. Alright, so let's go visit the Hunters. Inquire about this werewolf dilemma. Be on your way, Outlander. I'm here to talk to your boss, Chill. You have no business with our pack. Be gone. You have no I, business we, with our pack. Be gone. Am I supposed Leave to uh, be a now. werewolf first or something? Maybe this is an arc that's only relevant if I've actually become a werewolf. Alright, whatever. I'll just save the game. We'll just move on. You know, you know, fuck you too. <laughs> Oops, didn't mean to do that. Alright, so we've got to uh, figure out that, figure out where she is, and 
figure out where the freaking alcohol is. I don't know. Yeah, this is the hunters. They, they, they won't talk to me. Do I need to talk to the others? Leave us in peace. <sighs> Get out of here. <sighs> yeah, it won't talk to me at all. Alright, so I'm gonna head back to town. And I guess I'll go try to figure out if I can Google this shit, because I don't know what to do. So. I will look into it, see if I can find the answers, and if I'm fortunate enough to, I will come back to recording before this weekend's up. If not, I should have the soundproofing up in my room within a week or two, so I should be able to continue recording anyway. So either way, more footage coming, so yeah! My personal thanks to each and every one of you for tuning in, you all are awesome viewers. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos, it means a lot to me and I do hope you enjoyed them. So you all take care of yourselves, and if you want to see more of me, keep up the video on the list, or stay tuned for more. Feel free to leave a comment below, please remember to take that like button if you enjoyed the video. In the meantime, fare thee well, everyone.